G'day guys, welcome to Steel and Nation Australia. Was that uncomfortable? Uh, probably was, probably was weird and wacky, right? Probably was real strange. And uh, man, we're heading into a new era. The Pittsburgh Steelers are heading into a new era. And you're probably wondering why, why am I sitting on the side? Why am I sitting like this over here? Uh, probably wondering a lot of things. Probably wondering why I'm even watching this video. Uh, maybe you can't even hear me correctly now. You can probably hear me better. There's a lot of things going on. Uh, today we have to do the video this way because I had a little, uh, my, my bloody light turned off. And for some reason in Australia, outside in the weather, it's like minus 11 degrees. Uh, not minus 11, sorry. It's 11 degrees, but like your Fahrenheit may be around 30. Like it's super cold, dreary, and I have no light for my room. So we're in this room today, the spare room. And yeah, that was uncomfortable. But I'm going to make a point because the Pittsburgh Steelers are going into maybe, maybe a very uncomfortable situation. Um, so the Pittsburgh Steelers now are going into a new era. So we found out the news yesterday with Acroshaw Stadium. And we had... Um, you know, that kind of boggled everyone. It was like, what is, what is, why? Everyone knows that it's Heinz Field. Every single person knows that it's Heinz Field since the last 21 years, right? And now the big deal happened. It's like $15 million um, over, no wait, 10, $10, million, $10, $10 million a season over 15 years, right? That was the first thing. And then as soon as that hit, I was like, man, this is really happening, right? I've been watching the Steelers for 20 for 20 years, I think about 20 years, 2002. So Heinz Field was 2001, right? Heinz Field 2001, and uh, I've been watching for 20 years. Now that's my era of football. So when I'm young, when I was younger, uh, when I'm about 32 and I was 12 years old, then that was me watching football, and that's my era. The Pittsburgh Steelers now are going into a new era. We have um, Kevin Colbert. Colbert has now left, right? Kevin Colbert has now left. Uh, Omar Khan replaces him for the general manager position. We have Big Ben has now, you know, hanged up the bootlaces. And we're even going back to Omar Khan, right? He's made a few big moves too, bring in, bring in Minka, bring in um, uh, defensive tackles and, and Ogun Joby and whatnot, right? So that's been happening. And then you move into Big Ben. Big Ben, is, is, his time is done. And now we have... The Steelers have a quarterback competition for the first time in what? In maybe 20, yeah, what it feels like in 15, 18 years. A true quarterback competition. So, yeah, everything is really uncomfortable and we are heading to this new era. So, it's all things crazy, right? So, yeah, I hope you guys like my new setup. Uh, definitely won't be... Yeah, it's so awkward because I'm trying to hide the light too. The light's over that way. And uh, I've got my one, my, my one little thing here, but I can't film my room today. But the moral of the story is I think a lot of fans like like me or even older fans from the 60s, right? A lot of the other fans know, they know uh, Three River Stadium. They know that stuff. I didn't know Three River Stadium. I didn't know all that stuff. Uh, I know the history and law of me and Joe Green, but I didn't know any of that stuff. Uh, my connection to the team is is purely based on the the recent the recent stuff that's happened from yeah 2001 to like you know Joe Porter, James Barrier, you know Debo, all those dudes, man. Uh, even like Jason Gilden who was in there, like when I started watching around the same time. So all those dudes, Big Ben, Hines Ward, Plexico Barris, Barris, you know, uh, Randall L, all those dudes. So. We're now moving into a new era. The Pittsburgh Steelers are now moving into a new era, and it's quite exciting. So, um, yeah, like it's 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 just crazy. It's a crazy time. Omar Khan, no Big Ben, and Accra Shaw Stadium. So, for the young guys who were growing up like me 20 years ago or 12 years old, the young guys now who are 11, 12, and they they maybe look to Najee Harris, they look to TJ Watt. This is going to be your team to start to cheer and support and get around. And will they start to call it Akershaw Stadium? Possibly, you know, possibly. In the next 20 years, will the Pittsburgh Steelers go out and win a Super Bowl? I hope so. I hope we go and win one this year. I really do. So, 
Crazy times, man. The season's around the corner. Thank you for checking out another video. I know it was strange. I look strange uh, sitting on the edge with my coffee, my Big Ben uh, photo, my terrible towel. I've had that for about, man, I've had that for about, I think, 15 years. That one never gets dirty. That never touches the ground. It's been everywhere with me. But we are transitioning into a new era. The old days of Heinz Field and even the old culture, really, uh, the, the world culture, American culture, Australian culture, it's all changing. And I'm going to be the guy that grows up and starts to shake my hand uh, at the clouds because I don't like change, but it's all happening. But I'm very excited about this team in 2022 with that defense being top five. I can really see it. And I'm very excited about seeing Najee Harris and whoever may be quarterback most likely Trubisky uh, to be quarterback and lead the team to some victories and get one over the bungles and start to go out there and win. So guys, thank you for checking out Still Next Australia. I do appreciate each and every single one of you. You're all awesome. The Pittsburgh Steelers are going to a new era from Heinz Field into Acrishaw Stadium. And yes, a lot of us will keep calling it Heinz because that's just the way it is. You can't go 21 years of calling something uh, you know, calling your mate a certain name and then changing it the next day. It doesn't happen. It's, it's, we will still call it Heinz Field when it comes up. You know, if you live in Pittsburgh, are you heading down to Heinz Field today? Are you going to go watch the game? Yeah, man, I'm going down to Heinz. You know, no one's going to instantly change it. Are you going down to Akershaw? It, it hurts the throat. It doesn't really work. Uh, it still will be called Heinz to a lot of people, and it's all fine. It's fine. As long as, as, long as the Steelers stay in Pittsburgh, and as long as the Pittsburgh Steelers are called the Steelers, and as long as the Pittsburgh Steelers never, never, never put the logo on the other side of the helmet, I think we're fine. Could you imagine if the Pittsburgh Steelers put the, put the logo on the other side of the helmet? They would be, they would be, the fans, us, we would be livid. If the Pittsburgh Steelers put two logos on the helmet, we, the, the company, the organization, the football team would never hear the end of the day. Never hear the end of the day. All right, guys. Thank you for checking out Still Nice Australia. I'll see you later. Man, that was awkward. <laughs>